Welcome back, folks, to Farm Sim 2022. We are in January. I have a lot of stuff I want to do in this episode that's pretty exciting to me. One of it, which you guys already saw in the thumbnail, Cheater Pants. This will hopefully you saw it in the thumbnail. I don't know if we have enough money yet. Um, but we will see. I have a pretty big purchase in mind. And uh, we have to do our sales. It's January. It's beginning of the month. We have our normal wood sales to do. Uh, now, metal does not fit in the curtain side. I was going to actually go ahead and use the curtain side for everything if I could. But it does not actually work in that. So, uh, we have a few things to sell for this episode. We have wood chips that we have to sell. I don't know that we have too many of them. But we have all the wood products uh, for sure to get rid of. And I think what we're going to do is maybe just a little fancy montage here of me going ahead and doing the morning selling. I have taken care of the other things like put the chicken eggs and the sugar pallets in there. Um, but we do need to do a few, a couple things before we start our month here, folks. few things here guys I did leave the productions I want them to run out we can see here some of them still aren't out like the shingles factory I want to let them run out before I actually go ahead and pick that up also did not know the curtain side trailer we have does not actually haul a lot of the wood products so that's kind of interesting so if we take a look here you can see a bottom right corner we are running semi low on grass, hay, and silage. Lower than I would like. In fact, last year we ran out of silage. We need to fix that problem. And me being the idiot that I am, uh, let's go switch over. Uh, I planted canola over in this field over here. And I should have known better, because uh, I had talked about we need to expand. And I think what we're going to do, I mean, I hate to plow down a pretty good crop, um, but this isn't going to be ready to late in the year. And we might be get behind on cows. And, and honestly, this thing, I haven't plowed this in a while, to my knowledge. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and expand our farm, uh, our grassland. So we got the John Deere over here. We got four track Freddy. You're thinking, well, let's get going. Well, no. We're going to do something today that has been my entire goal for this series I have not talked about. Um, obviously, finishing the roller coaster was a big thing. But in all my series, 
uh, I've ever done, including even playing, I think, normally. Uh, I have never... Ooh, let's actually go ahead here. Yeah, we're going to do something I've never done today. Um, and normally, I wouldn't be big on it, but we're at closing in here on the end of the series. We're going to go ahead and get rid of 4-Track Freddy. He is probably one of my favorite tractors I've ever owned in this game. Uh, but you guys seen it in the thumbnail. I know you did. You don't lie to me. You guys knew what I was doing before I did it. We are going to go ahead and get the quad track. Um, this is a uh, something I've never done in any of our series. Ever. Um, I've only messed around with it on maps having fun. And we are going to name this thing Beefcake. Um, we are going to get the fully upgraded. This is the most powerful tractor in the base game. And in the, arguably in real life, there is the big buds, but uh, they weren't mass produced. So let's go ahead and buy this thing. Uh, so I know what you're thinking. Well, that's nice, but you sold your plow. All right. I know I sold the plow. We're going to grab another plow. Now we could, uh, let's see, let's go down here into plows. We're going to take a look together here because I looked at this and I thought in my head, we could go with this really big plow, but because this tractor articulates, we're going to have some weird steering issues with it. Um, it, it, it just wouldn't, I don't feel like it's going to be a good fit. Also, at that width, it feels super cheaty to have something 26 meters that sits behind a tractor like that. That does not seem realistic to me. I've never seen one of them in real life. Um, then I thought, well, let's go with a big traditional plow, right? And I have done that in the past. Um, but I wanted to do something a little different. We're going to go with what's called... I know this is a chisel plow in real life. Um, I don't know what they call it uh, near you. Some call it uh, um, diggers. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other terms. It's always a regional term, but we're. I know this is a, like a shank plow or, or a, just an awesome plow in general. But we're going to go with this one here, and we are going to grab it. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Oh, let's take a look at this thing. I, if you, I want to hop out. Because I don't think you guys understand the scope of this tractor. If you saw one of these in real life, these things, and I have. I've never been in one, but I've been near them. These things are so massive, these quad tracks. And even some of these other ones, like, uh, well, let's, where's the John Deere one? Um, it is right here, the RXs. These things are so big in real life. You, I guess, don't realize it until you're next to them. Same thing with these. I have not seen one of these in person, though. So let's hop in. Start her up. She's got some girth. Let's go ahead and see if the horn's not crap. Ah, oh, the dream tractor, and it doesn't even have a horn, amazing horn. All right, so pretty good, pretty agile on its feet. This is a very heavy tractor, and it is in real life, too. Um, I believe it's somewhere close to, like, 50,000, 21 tons. Yeah, so if you put a bunch of weights on this thing, it would be. It's 21 tons. So let's go ahead back here. Hopefully this hooks up to this plow. It does. I had not tried that. Um, and what we are going to do is first, before I do anything, I want to plow. Before I do the major plowing. Um, oh my gosh, this thing is ginormous. Oh, we definitely have to unfurl. I mean, you have to unfurl to see this thing. Oh, it's a pretty cool unfurling mechanism. So with the articulating, if you look at where the tractor meets, oh, it's still unfurling. Holy cow, that is a huge chisel plow. 
this is going to be a little bit difficult to line up. Um, and I do not, oh, actually, I said that, and the game is like, nope, we're going to make this look easy. So let's go ahead and pull this here. We'll get that end up. And we're going to make this one big field here. So let's go ahead and drop... Uh, let's drop this down. Because I want to be able to turn off Allow Create Fields off after we're done with this. And one thing I guess I never really talked about in this series, and the reason I've gotten better as this series go on, if you look at that bottom corner, we're at 270 degrees. Um, and that's how you get stuff to go straight. They are in the increments of 90. All right, let's pull that up, and we're going to do our deal. So if you can get your tractor aimed right, it kind of looks like you're auto-steering, but you're, in fact, not. Boy, this thing is making this plow just, it's just like bring it on like it's a rag doll. All right, let's drop this here. Uh, I don't think we have to be super careful. Oh, man. I do like this tractor. I will say, I want to see the finished product of the montage. Because I think we're going to do a montage here and see if this camera angle doesn't get, like, super jerky. This one doesn't seem too bad, but some of them do. Alright, so, let's go ahead and do a second montage of the episode here, folks. Wow, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy to you, but we're starting to get... We're basically into the biggest equipment you can get in the game. Can I not ruin the crop? Thank you. <clears throat> and actually, we're going to have to park this thing right under here. Now, I will say, the interesting thing about this tractor, it's a little harder to guide your implement in the field... But it's not bad, and this thing does not struggle at all. I can't wait till we hook on our big cedar right over here. I would really like to see if this one has any issues with this cedar whatsoever. Uh, that's like definitely something I'm interested in. Because even 4-Track Freddy and on some of the hills slow down with this thing. But we got Beefcake. We got... We got Chunky over here, and I don't know. Oh, yeah, Puma's up on the the cow mixer. So we got three new tractors in the last two episodes, and we'll see you here in the next month, guys. Have a good one, folks.